Hello everybody, this is Gold League Gamer 1 and Dine, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. It's time to go back to Figaro Castle because there is a hidden dungeon if you go back underground. And just wait for it. Have to go through this little cutscene. Yep, he stops and yeah, it's as if we bumped into something, so if you stop and explore. You can't you can't leave the castle except by this old passage, which we used to sneak into the castle a few videos ago. So this opens a new dungeon. And there's plenty of treasure here to loot. Wing Edge, that is a weapon for Locke. So none of these guys can equip it, unfortunately. Yeah, you never you never got the tiger claws in the cave to the veld. Cave cave of the veld. Those are Sabin's best weapon. Uh, you also have to be careful because there is a... Okay, Doom Darts, a weapon for Setzer, which uh, is both good and bad. There is a chest in here which has a very powerful monster in a box. And I think it's that one right there, actually. Nope. Uh, in that case, I think it's the one through the door here. <laughs> yep, there he is. So, oh, Master Tonberry, even though they're called pugs in this translation. Uh, I don't think you can run. Yeah, I do learn that I can't. And, he, yeah, he is very, very powerful, but you're doing enough damage to... to be able to take him down fairly quickly. I think he has only about 50,000 HP. Step Mine is a very dangerous ability. It does damage based on the number of steps you've taken. But... It, it, this thing is not that hard. Unfortunately, if he does if he does get close, he will do a kind of an instant kill ability on you, but you can easily beat him before he gets close enough. And save us slots the wall ring on! You're healing a <laughs> not for, not for very much though. And it's at this point where uh, where Edgar's drill is just more useful than his chainsaw because he keeps trying to do the instant kill, which really doesn't do much. It just fails all the time and wastes his turn. And so he has all but one tool. There's an upcoming dungeon that has the final tool in a hidden room. Actually, Saban's regular attack is doing more than the more than the blitz. And oh, he's still alive. I thought that hit Mog. But I actually don't remember what you get from this guy. Edgar, stop wasting your turns. And oh, Mog stumbled. Uh, why did you cast Cure on Saban? I don't know. <laughs> oh, that was an oh, it was Antidote, but you still cast it on him. Okay, you you used the item on Okay, that, that was my fault. I okay, okay, that actually worked. Yeah. Uh, I thought you cast Cure on him rather than use an Antidote, but that's my fault for not paying attention. Okay, Edgar should survive that just barely. He's getting close. Oh, well, goodbye, Edgar. Yeah, step mine again. Hopefully, it hits less. Oh. Is he gonna MP? It, it didn't do anything. But he's down anyway. Ah, <laughs> yes. So yeah, a, a, fa a fairly annoying mini boss. Uh, he's actually easier because you can fight three of these things at the same time in the cave where you found Umaro in another chest, and three of them together are a bit harder. Yeah, the greatest is a very is a powerful knife, but probably the most powerful knife in the in the game. I actually, give that to Gogo. So, yep, heal up up Edgar and get back in there. There is one more er, monster chest in this dungeon. Uh, but I found him. I found him easier. Yeah, th this place is a little bit messed up. It's not very long, so it's kind of straightforward at the same time. There are a couple of side passages, hidden passages, and there's a very well hidden room later on that I'll explain then too. Uh, for now, I just want to head to the left. 
and along those stairs over there because the, the way forward is slightly obscured, but you just head, you just exit to the left on that bottom screen. Yeah, it's just a small series of twists and turns that eventually just take you to the same place. And get the way forward. And I think there were a couple more chests in that same room. And including Shadow's best weapon if I remember correctly. Well if they were I might if there were I might have missed them. Top off. Yeah, you probably don't need to top off your HP, because uh, there are there is that other chest chest boss and uh, a dragon in here, but it's in the well-hidden room. But yeah, what the? And it's time for a flashback. Hey, it's those guys from the opera. Yep. A, a, a very, very isolated airstrike. It only hits nine panels, but uh, Esper attack. And all of a sudden, Edgar's an archaeologist. Yeah, and a little bit of more, more flashback. And if you go to the Figaro Castle Library, there are some scholars in there who will tell you more about this place. Adam Edge, or as it's called in most other versions of Final Fantasy, Zantetsuken! Single Killing Strike. And what, that is what Odin is known for in the whole Final Fantasy series. Yeah, Odin. That's also a Magicite, I was told. Yep. He's the Esper it's based off of. Unfortunately, you can't cut a ghost, and the ghost is doing the ah, 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 you didn't say the magic word. Yep. The infamous quote from the Sonic 3 race. Mm-hmm. Uh, Edgar still pulls this knowledge out of nowhere. You, you can actually have Gao in that position, and... There, there are a couple of doors on the left you can go into. There's a little bit of treasure in there. But in here, come and examine Odin. And you'll get the Odin Magicite. Right. Now, now, Odin is the only Magicite that has a speed bonus upon level up. And there is also a very well-hidden room about five steps south of the, of the throne is a switch that open, opens the room. But yeah, it it took me forever to find that. Yeah, the 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 scholar in Figaro Castle Library tells you about it. The Blizzard Orb is an, is a relic that only Umaro can equip. Whereas the gold hairpin again decreases his MP cost. Yep, that that other entrance entry was the only way in. But coming here, there is a slightly hidden chest along the south wall, if I remember correctly. Or maybe the one down there is the one I'm thinking of. But you just have to go back around outside to get in there. Not hard. Yeah. Yep, so... There's a book in here. Queen's Diary. Yep, she's in love with Odin. Oh, uh, what, is she dead? She's dead. But, yeah, the, the hidden room opens right where you were standing right there, but, of course, you have to flip the switch. And uh, Odin, the Magicite Odin teaches the Meteor spell, which is one of the best in the game. And, again, it's the only, it's the only Esper that gives a speed bonus on level up. You can actually upgrade Odin to become Raiden, and it will teach you the Quick spell and Meteor, but it loses the speed bonus on level up. Okay, Katana Soul, the other mini-boss in here. 
Uh, slightly higher defense than the uh, than the Master Tonberry, but the attacks are a lot more straightforward. I think it just has physical attacks. Well, then this should be, be no problem. Oh yeah, and Ed Edgar's doing it right this time. He's actually using his chainsaw to not use the kill. He has shockwave. Yeah, just regular attacks did more damage. Oh, there, yeah, there's, some, there's something else I need to ask about on uh, after the video. Okay. I'll type it in the chat now so I don't forget. Let's see what does he want to know. And, okay, Katana Souls power up. Air Anchor. Um, oh, I... I don't know about the air anchor. It's Edgar's final tool. I'll I'll, I'll, I'll bring it up in, after we're done recording here. Yeah, there's plenty going on in this video. We're not even halfway done, but most of this dungeon is is done. Oh, Slay Reds. Okay, it's instant kill. I thought it was going to be a zombie attack. That's speaking of instant kill, you fail, Edgar. Yeah, there, there's the, uh, the the blue dragon is in the hidden room. So if you're going for all eight dragons, you want to you want to at least open it for that, even if you don't want to turn Odin into Raiden. And chainsaw again. This guy shouldn't last too much longer. He's, he's less of a threat than. A lot of the other enemies already fought so far. Imperial, so he's, yep, he's throwing weapon. Go for broke, Edgar, finish him off. Yeah, this is one of those battles where the sooner you get it over with, the far, great, the far greater your chance. Okay, GP rain, which is actually GP toss. Ooh, annihilated. But, yeah, take the wall ring off Saban so he can be healed during battle. But do what it takes to defeat that that mini boss. Unfortunately, we have to go through this cutscene again. And da -da 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 -da. the very precision airstrike again. Only six panels. Yeah, I'm just gonna stand right in the middle of where it was landing. <laughs> Same exposition. Again, that comes out of nowhere. And these guys still look like the guys from the opera. And. And more Odin. Zontetsuken! I don't know why they renamed it Adam Edge. I guess it's because they didn't want anything Japanese. <laughs> there, there, are some, there are some dubbing companies, both video games and anime, that try to remove every Japanese reference they can imagine in it, and unfortunately kind of ruins it. That's one of my, that's one of my big pet peeves about dubbing companies that do that. Uh, this is probably the easiest Final Fantasy to to recruit Odin, because in most of the others you have to fight him before he can kill you, and, fi and finish him before he can kill you. But the there's there's a bit of a there's a bit of a running gag, or actually kind of a mythology gag in Final Fantasy, in that Odin is almost always weak to lightning. Yeah, so we so we just gotta recreate what what I did like a few minutes ago. Yep, just grab those, those those items. Uh 
And you can get the Queen's Diary again. It's actually not necessary. But the... Yeah, it's kind of sad because they were on the same side. O Odin was fighting for the Queen. It... it well, it would have been even more tragic if they weren't on the same side. But that's... At the same time, that see that a lot in drama. Uh, see. Okay. Time to try again. Uh, uh, go get those treasures! Uh, Mr. the treasure yet! Down there! Down there! Not down the stairs, but below. Okay, good. Didn't, didn't forget him after all. So, X-Potion. Magicite. And, oh, I thought, I thought Shadow's best weapon was in here. Oh, well. I could be wrong. Again, it's been a while. Oh, well, you're currently, you're, you're not currently at this point in your ROM hack, are you? Nope. In my, in my next video, I'm probably going to get Realm and maybe Locke. Oh, so you're already you're on the part where you're recruiting all the all your party members. Yep, I'm gonna I'm gonna get all the required characters before the optional characters, like, except for Mog, because uh, they they changed out Umaro and Gogo with different characters, even though they behave similarly. But to recruit Umaro, you basically need Gogo instead of Mog. Yeah, doors are shut. But they'll open again when the, when the castle is back up to the surface. Yep. But if you continue the journey, it affects the city in no way. Yeah, how is a castle able to go go underground and then come back up? Engineering, thanks to Edgar. He developed that. Yeah, because that because in, in reality, a, a building can't do that. Well, this isn't reality. Well, I know. I'm just pointing that out there. But uh, uh, in Final Fantasy, later games do even more ridiculous things. All, all you have to do is just watch one of the, any of the any of the CG cutscenes from Final Fantasy 13, and they all top this. <laughs> Treat and save. And Firefox, why do you want to update in the middle of a recording session? Uh, you have Firefox? Oh, yeah. yeah I have Chrome. So. Uh, well, I use Firefox and Chrome. I just use them for different things. <laughs> yeah. Uh, e even, though, even though Chrome is able to play YouTube videos in 60 FPS, YouTube just works better on Firefox for me. Okay, back to the Velt. Gonna try and get at Gao again, but... Yep, we're gonna yeah, we're gonna try once again, because cause I'm not going to give up on trying to get Gao. I want that best ending. Okay. Yeah, Tara, Tara's the closest to the door, so you end up talking to her a lot to switch party members. And back at up. Oh, oh you, you've, you've even got the party necessary for the... Uh, best version of Gao's cutscene. Okay, circle around. Just get into some battles. Oh, easy enemies. Yep. And there he is! Yay! You don't. You don't have to feed him anything. Just go go back outside of the item menu and wait. Cause effect. Uh, yeah, don't want to attack him either. Especially don't want to attack him. Well, he said something right in time. Yep, yeah, but that's all it takes to get Gal back. So to complete his character arc, you want to go to the crazy old man's house. 
which is not happening right now, unfortunately. Uh, where is the crazy old man's house? Uh, slightly to the northwest of the Velt. It's just a, a lone house. A, a little bit away. I'd probably have to show you on, on a map. Ah, great. Now, it, another thing I missed. Uh, it's really of no importance. It's basically a little bit of, of character development for Gao, but it really changes nothing. He, there's no items for it. Uh, you don't get any weapons or anything. I, I, I don't think it affects him at all. It's, it's so, just... So, so there's really no point. Right. Oh, okay. Then that makes... That, that is a sigh of relief. Okay, I did paste that map. Uh, yeah, Aged Man's House. It's on, it's on the map that I sent you. Yeah, Dragon Horn, you want to use that in conjunction with, with Dragoon Boots. You can buy those in... I think you can buy those in uh, Nakaya. And a little bit of a relic update. Yep, I always want to keep that Moogle Charm on. Unfortunately, Gao did not gain any experience, which is kind of ridiculous. Most everyone else did. Yep. But uh, actually, that that person's house you talked about, that's actually not where I'm going in the last few minutes of this video. Yep, I can tell. Because that's back on the other side of the world. And there's the Coliseum again. Where to go? We're running out of side quests. No, there's one left. It's Miranda. And I think Talador is still on the Solitary Isle Beach. Uh, I think I got that one. Okay, well, we'll, we'll, we'll double check on your file after, done, after we're done here. So I'll, I'll show you where the air anchor is. Ah, the Fanatics Tower. Okay. Now, this place... You cannot use regular attacks. You can only attack with magic in here. And if you have not been teaching your characters magic, be prepared for pain. Lots and lots of pain. Which is why I am removing the Moogle Charm for the final dungeon. Well... well you definitely want the Moogle Charm in here. You just want to build up your characters to yeah, keep some and, magic. Uh, and the reason I say I'm removing the Moogle Charm for the final dungeon is because if I'm under level for the final fight, it's going to come back to bite. Okay, right here. Examine the wall to, directly to the right of the treasure chest. And the, the safety bit and the memento ring actually end up doing the same thing. They both protect against instant death attacks. But yeah, I'll, I'll, show, I'll show you that on my file after this video to get the air anchor. And unfortunately this this place is fairly tedious even with the Moogle charm because uh, you're just climbing and climbing and climbing and climbing. This is th this is Ghostbusters climbing to fight it, it's uh, not Zod. We're climbing one of the longest towers ever. Yep. All these steps kind of remind me of this one time I went to the Statue of Liberty. Why can't I remember the name of that villain at the end of Ghostbusters? Because... Well, yeah, then, because again, then again, I haven't seen it. <laughs> There's the Pearl Dragon. You have no idea how how many steps it takes from, from, the, from the ground level to the crown. Now this, okay, the White Dragon is not very hard, but, of course, you're under the caveat. Yeah, you have to use magic on it. And the interesting thing is this is the only dragon you can fight at any... Well, not at any time, but fight again inside the Velt. Uh, it'll start off by casting Pearl about two or three times. But uh, yeah, you you basically have to... Again, just you can only hit it with magic. Because that's what this tower is. Pearl. 
that goodbye mug. Oh, it's nice enough to be able to let you use items as well as magic. But I think you're out of Phoenix Downs. Yeah, well, not to worry. I do make sure I get more before going into the final dungeon. Yeah, because at this point in the game, you're going to have more gill than you need. Super Ball, this is a very fun item. Uh, and does plenty of damage. It, it actually hits random enemies, but if there's just a single enemy, far more useful. Now it's time to learn about the White Dragon. Oh, level 71. Yeah, very easy compared to the other dragons, only 20,000 HP. And no weak points. No weak points, but no. It, I don't think it absorbs anything other than Pearl either. Or Holy, which... I never bothered to... Well, they, they removed uh, religious references, including just the word Holy in this version. Uh, censorship. I'm amazed Breath of Fire 2 even got localized. <laughs> Animation for Odin. Very cool animation, but it unfortunately does not instantly kill him. Very rarely works on bosses. It's kind of like the Geno world in Mario RPG. Yep. It only works on one boss only because they forgot to make him immune to it. Yeah. So, I, then I guess in this case it, w it was a production error. Yep. Oh, this game is full of bugs. Oh, so, oh. I thought this game only had one production error, which was dark. Nope. Uh, it, it has that. It has the evasion bug. It has realm sketch bug. And a few others. But yeah, there are just several that... Uh, that got fixed in later releases. But those are the major ones. I, I can't say I know all the speedrunning tactics. And Realm may defeat this thing on her own. Especially since she yeah. blocked it. She blocked it twice, yeah. actually. That was the second time. But uh, Her magic defense is nice and high, so she'll... She can take maybe one more. Probably not. But this thing doesn't have much HP left on itself either. Yeah, it's already down. So yeah, this is, pro this is actually probably the easiest dragon in the game. And forget that. Ten magic points, but no no equipment. Oh, the Pearl Lance. Oh, yeah, that, for whatever reason... Okay, Stunner, that is Shadow's best weapon. It was in here. Why did I think it was in the ancient castle? Oh, well. Well, the important thing is I got it. Yes. And for whatever reason, it shows getting the Pearl Lance outside of battle than inside it, but... Oh, well. Best thing to do is retreat and use a tent, because MP is being drained quickly. Well... What can you do? What can you do? Uh, retreat and use a tent, like I just said. Well, I well, yeah, I know that. Uh, to be continued. All right, until next time. Later, folks. Bye, guys.